Hello, Steve. How are you today? So, uh, I thought I'd try and get you some of this um, video uh, from the last time we were together that you could look at before we uh, got together today at uh, 5 o'clock. <clears throat> so, here's uh, some, some pictures from last time, uh, which was a great lesson. And uh, so, here's where we started here on this... Uh, this right here. It's nice you're getting down into that, like what we call the second baseman athletic position. Looks good, and you, you're moving your um, moving your hands forward. But remember, we didn't want the we didn't want the hips to go forward as well. So, but you do come back here. You leave the hands there. You do come back with your hips here a little bit uh, to get your weight sort of centered between two feet. That's where we wanted that uh, at the beginning of the backswing. So, okay, here we go, super slow-mo. So, um, so there's, there's basically your setup right before you move and, uh, and swing, so that looks real good. As you can see, you were you were tending to move move off the ball a little bit, and that, and that left arm bends at the in the backswing and then straightens out as you're coming down, which you know a lot of people can get away with, but uh, it might be better to keep it straight the whole time. But let's let's <coughs> let's go through this um, lesson and see where we ended up. So right before you start swinging, you see how you do you did you did. So there, there's your address position right before you swing, right there. So that looks, that looks good. That looks, uh, that looks excellent. You got a nice straight right arm here. Let's draw this line down here. Coming straight down the club. Look at that, perfect. That looks great. And your weight seems to be fairly well balanced, maybe a little bit toward the front, which is great. Fifty-five percent is perfect. And uh, but let's watch this head here as you uh, as you go through the swing. Put this right on your nose right there, and give you a little extra room here. So make sure we don't go back, we don't sway back there through that. Uh. And see, you're doing a great job here. Look at that. Look at that. That's really good. Now, <clears throat> when you get to here, I like the way your hips are turning. They're not sliding. That's great. The weight is staying over on the left side. That's perfect. So right at this point, look what happens is that you stand up, see? So, and and see that your left arm is bent there, and then uh, you straighten it out. So, if we could keep that left arm straight the whole time and not stand up as much, that might be better, but we'll, we'll talk about that. And then, as you're dipping down to try and get back into dip down to try and get back into impact position. You see you go too too far. A lot of people do this, but you know, it's better if you could keep if you could stay up, it's gonna make it easier because you're flipping at the ball there. Probably you know, I had by the way, I've had I had the same exact problem and I, I, I had to solve this. You know, it comes from the era in which we learned golf with that flipping thing there. You see here it changed. Oops, get out of there. Can't remember where it was, but at any rate, some in there somewhere. But uh, uh, this, it changed from that straight line from your shoulder here. Now it's, oops, now it's a curved, uh, a bent line here. You see that you've actually, uh, actually your your um, the center of the swing has moved forward from where you were. Yeah, it's pretty close. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's just that this uh, this uh, arm, this left hand, left wrist breaks down too early. So it's uh, it's sort of like, see. I had the same problem that that ball. You want to you want to be your. It feels like your hand should be in back of that ball when it hits it, but it's really not true. The way the iron works is that your hand should be out here. This, in fact, should be should be a line. Let's just do it. Uh, what it's supposed to be is a line that goes from here to the club head, and 
your hands should be somewhere on or slightly in front of that line at that point. And that's the truth, uh, and that should be the truth all the way through here. So in other words, see where your hand should be way out here in this shot. That's the, that's the proper uh, alignment. So we went back to the impact bag and uh, started doing some work there on the impact bag. And um, this is what this looked like. This, this really helped you a lot. Nice short little back swing. See when your when your head doesn't move at all, it's much much easier to do this move. Okay. Now I did come in here and uh, so that I could get your hands further out there. You see, so that's what I'm talking about. Out in here, those hands should be up there. That's the way it's supposed to look, right? And, of course, this head can still stay. See how much easier that was to swing when your head stayed totally totally still over here. So you got it here. You got the idea because you went, uh, yeah, here's what, I'm, here's what I am doing. Right, here's what I am doing. You see how that looks like this? And then here's what I should be doing. Yes, yes, that's where this should be, okay? So it's a tough one. It's a tough situation to solve. I went through solving that same that same issue there. That's the way it should be. Okay. Then so you did get it here. Although the bag is sort of doing the work here, I'd rather have their hands here. I'd rather see your hands do it. But you notice how still your head stays here. It's uh, it's very easy to do this. See, you're not dipping down. It's much easier. Look at that versus that. See, this is cool. This is good looking. It looks like almost like you're trying too hard. But like I say, I had the same issue. I went through the same issue uh, with flipping at the ball. And I finally solved it, so I know that you can do it, too. All right. And uh, so let's see. Let's move forward and see what happened uh, the next time. Okay. Let's put this in here. So this is now. There. Look at that. Now look at the difference between those two. See, this is your your bent your bench, uh, bent over here, and you flipped. You're standing up here, and your hands are out. See if I draw this same line now. Remember, Shoop. look at that versus this. There you go. That's the difference right there. See that. There's a mental picture for you right there. Huh? I'm going to take a snapshot of that so I can use it as the... Yeah. All right. So, oh boy, it was so powerful too. You almost hit the bag out there 100 yards. Oh, look at that, Steve. That's the man right there. Ah, oh, yeah. Think of power. The, the difference in power is just amazing. You know, you got this whole left side. You're not bent over. So, so that standing up that you do originally here in this swing, when you first get to the top. Whoops. Let's get to the, get to where you start to swing here. Oops. And then we're gonna move this thing. So, this move right here, where you stand up. So, I think that we got, we worked on this once before. I remember we started standing up a little taller right from the start. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
because you want to be here. See how far down you've gone here. Look at that. That. This is where you really want to be. This makes it tough to keep the uh, keep the circumference the same. So we got to quit. Keep. We got to work on keeping that head more steady. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, let's see that. What else we got here? That was pretty good work, though. I'm gonna get this back to. Whoops. So that the next thing we did was to actually work on that swing. Oops. Come on. There we go. So now you're trying it on your own. But you see, without the bag there, it's a little harder to do. That's what I what I meant when I said you were using the bag. To, you got to get to the point where you can do it without the bag. Now, this is much closer. Much closer. But you see, it has flipped just a little bit. It's a tough one. It's a tough habit to break. But you can do it. I know you can. And this is where we're talking about the, the if you keep these arms straight and the follow through, it's really going to help. As, as opposed to here, you see how bent they are here? Both arms are bent. That's because you're dipped down so far that you're, that you're compensating for trying not to crash that club into the ground. But here, the arms are nice and straight. That's a really good, that's a really good looking finish right there. See now here, if you drew this line here, These hands could still be a little bit further up, so they are lagging behind just a little bit. But right to here, that's looking pretty good. They can start moving there. I'll accept that. See, because that's pretty much straight down the straight down the line. That's good. That looks good. So that's what we were working on in this drill. We were working on the follow through. And the follow through, you know, if you keep these arms, if you're not if you're not going for this type of uh, bent arm if you're going for the straight arm it's going to help you also in keeping your hands in front of the club head see you know right here this is pretty you know we're getting pretty good here there like that okay so keeping the arm straight on the follow through is good that's what we're working on here so the first thing we were working on was the wrist in front of the ball, and then we were working on uh, the wrist in front of the ball at impact, and then we were working on keeping the arm straight. And you can see the difference in how, how it looks. See that? This is much more powerful looking, right? Okay, so I hope you were working on that, because that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. All right, so now... Let's go to, uh, this was cool because we started using the, um, I showed you this uh, device that went on your wrist. And this was pretty amazing how well this worked. You still have that, that little, you have a tendency to want to sway back as you're starting the backswing. I'd rather have you just start from there. It would be great, but watch what happens with this wrist thing on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. All right, let's go back here. Go back here to impact. Let it impact here. We got this line. Oops. Yeah. 
And over here, look at that. Change that to green. Oh, wait a second. It's too slow for me. I'm faster than the machine. Okay, look at that. So that thing really, really kind of helped you. That looks good right there. Here we have the same thing here. Still a little bit behind, but much, much better than that. Look at that. So, you're getting there. You're getting there. Look how much higher your head is here. See, we've got to stop that bending down. All right. So that's pretty good. That worked out good with you. And um, so on this one now, let's see. We had it. Let's try this. See what happened here. I think you were hitting the ball with this thing on, and it really. You're rehearsing. I love this rehearsal, see? Where you step up and you rehearse that straight arms out there as opposed to this. So you're rehearsing what this ought to look like. Your head is nice and high. This is good. I hope that this works for you. I'll be anxious to hear. Be anxious to hear. And then here you actually step up and hit a ball. Even when the ball gets in the way, that little that little guy really helps. Really helps you. The little thing on your wrist. You go there. You go there. You go there. Look at that. Look at that. See now your wrists are getting a little bit behind here, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I'd I'd prefer them to see them out here at this point, and then you can start lagging behind, but. That is pretty darn good there, Steve. So that's getting that's getting better. Look at that. Look at this one. Yeah, that's just after impact. Your hands are still forward. Whereas you remember just after impact over here, if I'd have drawn that same line down here. that one. So, it's a matter of keeping that wrist from flipping, from flipping. That's the key. That's the key. All right, so, I don't know, what do we got here? Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, so now we're going to look at it with the, um, with an actual real swing without the thing on there. See if it did any good. I'll get rid of these lines. So, did we make a difference? I believe we did. That's impact. Not bad, not bad. It's harder to hold it <laughs> Out that thick on your wrist, but look at that impact position. That's good. That's much, much better. Look at how see how steady your head stays in this one. Still comes down a little bit. Yeah, still comes down a little. I'd prefer, you know, if we could just get it to stay to start there and stay there. It'd, be, it'd take a lot of the chaos out. <laughs> You get what I mean. I know you understand what I mean. I've been through it too, so. So, I'll take a look at this last one before we go to the driver. Not sure what. <coughs> Oops. Alright, so.
you see how you're rocking you're rocking back here before you start swinging so you know what what raises you up is not that you what you need to do is work on the tilt here the tilt of your that's called the left tilt, so your shoulder should come down more so that your body is tilted more to the left. That's the only way that you can get that head to stay down there. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on a little bit more. And we still have some flipping going on here, as you can see. But out in here, I like the way your hands are staying your arms are staying much straighter now compared to here when they were bending up. See, so look at the difference in your right arm there. And you are staying up, standing up a little bit taller there throughout the swing, so this looks much better, much better. Okay, so we'll continue to work on that. And uh, I have another idea, which I'm going to share with you as well. Uh, and uh, But you did ask me to look at the driver last time we were together. So I have a couple of uh, driver shots here, which I will share with you. Uh, the first thing we did was to, um, I came in and uh, helped you uh, with the proper setup. Um, we talked about where the center, the center of the swing is just inside the, just inside the um, left shoulder. And, and so the ball position should be even in front of that. And so we got you lined up to where the ball was basically in the inset of your right, of your left uh, foot right there. That's where the ball should be lined up. Okay? Right, oops. Right here. Okay? That felt, you said that felt like it was out at your toe, but <laughs> I said no. Feel is not real. It's not at your toe. It's at the inset, but I know that that's the way it feels. It feels way far forward. I'd be very anxious to hear how this alone worked out for you. It's just changing the position of where you're hitting the ball. But here's the real interesting thing I found about this was that during your swing, let's watch your swing here. This is your actual driver swing. We'll put your little cage around you here. You see how you don't stand up as much? You're not standing up as much. You still are right at this point. You start moving to the right. That means you're not bending this. You're not you're not tilting to the left far enough. That's what causes that. When you stop tilting and keep turning, your head will move to the right. So we got to work on that tilt. That means your shoulders got to come down more to keep tilting. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that compared to that iron swing, that's that's significant, <laughs> and that's what I wanted to. That's what I'm going to take a look at. The idea of moving the ball maybe forward a little that worked for me when I moved the ball forward a little in my stance. It's too bad I don't have the frame of actual impact itself, but. Uh, But look at how your arms don't bend up at the driver. Look at you. Look at your head. It's still like right in the almost exactly the same position. It has still gone down just a little bit, but it's much better with the driver with having the ball forward. Look at that. See your head. It's not, but it's not dipping down drastically like it does with the irons. And in this case, you still have the issue with your, uh, you know, with your hands uh, headed out in front of the club head, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. So they should be up in here more, right to that point. 
and I'm sorry, I don't have the frame. I didn't get the frame of Im of exact impact, but you still have a little bit of this uh, of this flipping going on, but not nearly as much when the ball is forward, more forward in your stance. So we're going to try that with the irons. I think is to move the ball forward more in your stance. Now from a um, from a down the line view, this one. When you're when you're stood up, when you're ready to go here, look at your head moving back off the ball originally. It's a little bit strange there to there right before you start swinging, but that's okay. So long as you 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 know that this is this is your starting point. Move it around, start going around your head. See what happens here. Okay. This is your starting point. The other thing I want to do is to show you your plane, the um, vertical swing plane here. So we go up the shaft. Up the shaft should go through your waist, so that's a little bit high. We want to lower those hands a little bit, and then through the shoulders, that should be the upper limit of the swing plane. So. Pretty good. Look at your head stays real nice. That looks good from down the line. That looks real good. Look at that at moment of impact. Club face is square to the path. Boom. And of course now the ball's gone, so the club can do whatever it wants at that point, but boom. And that ball went right, 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 straight. Did straight, a little low, but which I'm surprised at since the ball was teed up so high. But it looks as if we might want to make that swing just a little bit more vertical. It should go at about a 45 degree angle, and you see you're coming way down. That that club comes back way below. So we may want to make that a little bit more vertical. It seems it seems uh, like you could be a little bit higher up and then come back closer to this top line when you come back down. See the uh, way here. That looks pretty strong. Nice transition. Yeah, yeah. And that club is definitely coming from the inside. Coming down at the ball. There shouldn't be any slicing going on there. Boom. Straight out. So, so, driver, I think the setup, I hope the setup made a difference for you on the driver because uh, that looks pretty good. Especially this moment of impact shot right there. That's darn good, so I will look forward to hearing how it went. All right, well, I'll see you over there at uh, 5 o'clock, and I'm going to go play with one of my buddies, get ready for a tournament this weekend, and uh, and I'll see you there at 5. All right, take care. Steve, bye.